Biblical epic Noah is taking the box office by storm, taking in $44 million in top honors this weekend, thanks to a rich and wild story and stars like Sir Anthony Hopkins, who plays Noah's 969-year-old grandfather, Methuselah. ABC's Bianca Goldrigo sat down with the Oscar winner to discuss this ancient role. He's one of the world's most acclaimed and versatile actors, brilliantly portraying everyone from a controversial U.S. president oh, it could be ugly, Henry. to a bone-chilling cannibal. <laughs> and now Oscar-winning actor Sir Anthony Hopkins is taking on a new role as the oldest known biblical figure. Remember, Noah, he chose you for a reason. Hopkins plays Methuselah, the 969-year-old soothsayer and grandfather to Noah, played by Russell Crowe. It begins. How do you prepare for a man who's almost a thousand years old? I know, I just show up as I am. <laughs> In the film, based on the famous Old Testament story, Noah receives a message from God that the world will endure an epic flood to eliminate all corrupt mankind, with the exception of Noah and his family, and of course, all of those animals. Why people are so en entranced by the story. The need to comprehend an incomprehensible world, this insatiable need to find out where, where, is the, where is the answer, where is the truth. Growing up an atheist, Hopkins says his religious views have evolved from non-believer to a believer in life. Believe in the life force. My philosophy is get on with it, enjoy it. But you do believe in God. I feel every day as I get older anyway, is that it's all a miracle. I mean, my heart beats, lungs breathe. That is an extraordinary an extraordinary phenomenon. Hopkins says he's humbled by the life he's lived. You only have one chance on this merry-go-round and don't take yourself so damn seriously. It's a tough business full of rejection, full of honors. I'm just one of the lucky ones. For Good Morning America, Bianca Goladriga, ABC News, Los Angeles.